Cabrutus is under attack once again. The Sweet Baby Inc. Discord page has been hacked. All sorts of accounts have been banned, removed, entire channels deleted. Welcome back to Words of Paradise. I'm your host, Leon Idol. We're going to go over this breaking story that actually broke again about 1 a.m. Central Standard Time in the middle of my Neon Leon live stream. Hitnotic came on to talk about it, and uh, we're going to go over that clip of the stream, get a little bit more information, see if there's anything else we can suss out. Uh, this needs to be spread. We've got to get the word spread to what's going on here, see if we can get any more information, see what we can do to help. Help Cabrutus out. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button. I cover nerdy news every day, and given everything that's been going down with Gamergate 2.0, especially after the you know apparent doxing of Alyssa Mercante, this is going to be a big story. We need all eyes on this. So let's take a look. Breaking news: um, the Sweet Baby Inc. detected Discord just got hacked, and it's currently banning everyone. Ooh. No way! What? Yeah. So a hacker snuck in while everybody was asleep. All the mods are asleep, and. Uh, uh, is currently banning literally everyone from the Sweet Baby Inc. Do you think this is right revenge? Now. This is revenge that's for Mercanti's doxing? And so so the, that's immediately what Badger said, what I was about to say. This has to be related to the Alyssa Mercante die. Now, I do not think that Alyssa Mercante did this herself. I, I have She's never shown any sort of indication that she has the necessary skills to hack into a Discord to delete it. I mean, she thought that she was Sherlock Holmes just, you know, infiltrating it all those months ago. However, I do believe that this is some sort of recompense. I do believe that this is some sort of retaliation for the Alyssa Mercante doxing. Uh, despite the fact that... Alyssa Mercante herself was the one who took the initial fight to Cabrutus. This is actually getting insane because if she had not attempted to ruin his life over something as simple as a Steam curation page, it never would have come to a head like this. She never would have gotten doxxed. This Discord would not be uh, you know, completely wiped. The Discord itself is not completely wiped, but so much of the information in it, as well as several prominent uh, users, including Hypnotic, were wiped. And... I, I, it could just be speculation, we could just be wearing tinfoil hats, or in my case, a tinfoil beanie, uh, but yeah, I, I'd be willing to bet dollars of donuts that this is absolutely related to the Alyssa Mercante docking. I, I, I can't see any other reason, unless it's just a real conspicuous set of timing. I mean, that would be real convenient. First of all, there's the speculation that it, she loses her, actually, to bat the timeline up even further, uh, first she goes after Smash JT, and then Smash JT's wife, and then there's the alleged firing, and then there's the doxing, which is not alleged, that actually happened, and now this Discord has been hacked. That is far too many things all happening in about, what, a 72-hour time span? So, while there's no definitive proof, let's be real, that, that's all those things together is far too convenient. I'm sure they're tied together in some way, shape, or form. Could be. I, I would hilarious. imagine it probably is. Um... But it is, it's pretty wild what's happening right now. I was, I was getting messages from some of the people who are over there. Are and you in there? I'm not in there anymore. I guess I got banned. I, I can't see it in my list anymore. That's Damn, fucking uh, something. Yeah, so nobody knows about that right now, from my to, to my knowledge. Uh, but the person who told me told me to share it out. Yeah. So that is another thing. They, they intentionally went in with knowing who so many of these these big YouTubers are, YouTubers with some sort of influence. Uh, Hypnotic was kicked from the group. Uh, I assume Dread Roberts was kicked from the group. Uh, we're going to go over a little bit of information from Dread Roberts here in a little bit if it's necessary. Uh, Cult Classic Cage was kicked from the group. I was never part of the Sweet Baby Ink Detected Discord just because Discords are honestly a lot to keep up with. I appreciate Cabrutus. I, I enjoy the curation page. Support the message 100%. I've had the pleasure of talking with Cabrutus multiple times. He's an absolute sweetheart of a guy, but as it was a very large Discord. There was nothing I really felt that I could add to being in it. And, uh, yeah, which might be a good thing because now that this has happened, maybe I will go in there once they unlock the Discord to see if anything can be salvaged, see if any help can be made. But, uh, yeah, let, let's continue. Um, yeah, absolutely. Well, that's, and, uh, but here's here's no, but here's here's where it's getting where you can put a tinfoil hat on, right? So, Irwin, think about this for a second. Um, Sweet Baby being detected had a whole bunch of receipts and information uh, on a lot of different things that are happening in the you know the culture war right now. Like they had a creator page specifically meant for receipts that content creators can utilize in videos and talk about and whatnot. Uh, now, that is very important to note because th this was a hack. The hacker clearly went in with intent. He intended to remove individuals like Hypnotic, like Cult Classic Cage, but also all these receipts that were in there. Now, this could just be, again, this is all speculation. However, the guy had to know about these receipts. So either A, 
He was already a member of the Discord group, and this is a, a separate alt account or something to that effect. Or B, somebody inside the Discord gave him the information, or the information got leaked. Because how would somebody who is not privy to the Discord know about what was in it? I mean, I, I get it. It wasn't exactly a private Discord. It's not like it was a super difficult Discord to get into. Uh, but because of that, the individuals seemed to know exactly what they were trying to target. Not only were they trying to target the big-name YouTubers, but also the pages upon pages of receipts that we had all gathered the some of the, several of these individuals had gathered uh, in terms of showing what we are referring to when it comes to DEI being detected, when it comes to where it's being used in games, what games use it. Oh, uh, you know, th th there's there's so much meticulous data that was collected, and this individual knew right where to go to you know, sponge it all away. That means they had to have some familiarity with what was already in the Discord. So I, again, it's, it's very easy to assume. There was a bad actor that was already in the Discord, or a bad actor that was already in the Discord had somebody else do this. Uh, that, to me, makes it feel... And you can tie that to the Alyssa Mercante stuff as well, because, hey, now is the time for escalation. Alyssa Mercante got doxxed. She had been in the Discord before. Uh, she probably still had toadies, lackeys in said Discord. Um, I mean, that wouldn't surprise me. Again, it's not exactly difficult to get in, so... Yeah, th that goes back to this all being just, just way too convenient. This individual absolutely knew what was there and what was to be targeted. Otherwise, it would just be like, you know, finding a needle in a stack, in a haystack. There's so many individuals in this group, conversation always going on. It was a large group. It's, this reeks of inside job. Um, one of them was the recent thing that was happening with that VTuber. I don't know if you know, but there's a VTuber that just recently got banned from a uh, a, a conference, a VTuber conference, um, because she made a post recently about LGBTQIA and how it's classified in her. Co anyway, um, real, real quick, Hypno. Laud says I'm still not banned. Laud, if you yeah, are not banned, I would recommend around, you, yeah. you you get in there. You just you screenshot. You get all, any and all info. Back yeah, I, I would up. get as much info as you can. There's a Internet user archive. by the name. There's a user by the name of hacked underscore server underscore c r r z n that is banning people. Um, now at this point, this user, from what we can gather, has already been removed. In fact, I think they were already removed by the time this part was live on, uh, on Neon Leon, almost on Hypnocast, no, on Neon Leon. Uh, so there... There's probably not a whole lot of new information to glean. If you were in the Discord, if you did have any of those screenshots, if you did have any of uh, th those those receipts backed up, because I, I don't know, from everything I've been reading, Discord does not exactly have a very good customer service track record. They don't have a good record of uh, you know, helping with support tickets, especially individuals that have certain political leanings when it comes to the culture war. Uh, I, I've read horror stories in terms of the support system that Discord offers its users. This stuff might be gone for good. So if you are part of this, uh, you know, the clan of individuals who are in the Discord, and you've still got this, uh, all these receipts, compile it, get together, you, you send, send me messages, send hypnotic messages, wherever you need to be. You can find me on X at bolt the word um I, you know it's under words of paradise you know the at symbol bolt the word i will try to com compile as much as i can if you guys are, are in need of some sort of middleman uh or again any sort of content creator in this space again i'm sure dread roberts would be able to i have my own uh, discord as does hypnotic atreus cassie the whole nine we need to save as much of this info that we might still have as possible because if it is all lost i mean that is literal months of work and so much of the case that we have against you know SBI and, and all the other DEI firms just like them so I would just probably get as much as you possibly can wow um I can't if you see want to be double awesome send that info to, to the three of us uh when you're done so we can all make videos to make you know awareness about tomorrow I would think that being in Japan Cabruz would know about this right now because it's they're awake right now yeah but he has right? school man he's like he's very busy <laughs> fair enough yeah, before I started this, I had to tell my parents, I was like, yeah, and I'm not going to tell my name. And like, it'll, it, maybe it'll happen one day, but like, people are crazy and I don't want to get, I'm like, what's that? I was like, oh, no, no. These people are so fucking insane that they'll try to find your address and then hunt you down. It's just, yeah. So here we go. Full circle revenge. <laughs> revenge yeah. for a thing that, not even sure who did it. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, the, the tinfoil hat, you know, you could wear one and think about like all the, all the, there's thousands of like receipts and, and information that, that people had and, and were using, and I guess they didn't back it up, and now that shit's all gone. It's all Fucking deleted. Reality show. Yeah. Which is interesting, man, because like I said, it's all this all happened after the doxing. This happened after the banning of that VTuber. I mean, it's it's and just the pretty wild, man. Being wonky. I mean, it was yeah. Johnny Boy says some are saying the uh 
happy that the hacker is already gone. Okay. Yeah, but I don't think it, I don't think it would matter because the hacker deleted a bunch of shit. So th that was gonna be my next question. Is this something that, if reported to the the, the Discord like higher ups, is anything can be restored? Do you think any of that data has like backed up or? Maybe uh, I would imagine so. Caprutus does not seem like a dummy. Like I'm sure he's got some sort of like on his own shit, his own personal files and receipts. Especially yeah, if, you, if you're making DEI detected, yeah, they're probably coming out to you. Yeah, yeah. No, have that shit in a safe. <laughs> Yeah, no, they. I, I'm sure they have some stuff saved. But one of the mods who was talking to me, who gives me a lot of information, he was saying, you know, thousands of receipts got lost. Like the, like they, they purposefully went in there and deleted the tab that was called the Creator Vault. So that now, obviously, if there's of course the chance that a lot of this stuff got lost, absolutely. But the receipts had to come from somewhere. So if people know what receipts were there, maybe they can go out of their way to find them again. Maybe you've still got them stored in your downloads file or on your C drive or whatever it is, anything that you still have. Again, I, I know I said this earlier, but I want to stress, try and make it public again, or, or not, maybe not public, but get it to the individuals who you know you can trust, who can put it to good use, maybe try and rebuild it with Cabrutus, whatever it may be. But uh, I'm sure this stuff is not lost. You know, they say the internet's forever for a reason, and, and this can hopefully be recovered. And if not, there is somebody on in on Instagram who we'll get into a little bit later that uh, might be able to recover all of this. We'll see. That, uh, that shit would be deleted. So I'm checking on my Dirty. alt account if Alyssa has said anything. Nope, she's still dark. Um, huh. Yeah, I doubt all she's right. going to say anything, man. <laughs> so, well, I mean, I she's the one that more or less started the war on him, so I didn't know if she... Uh, I mean, right. she's got everybody blocked, so it's not like people would figure it out super quickly. It's the well, I mean, I feel definition. like if you're going to... Sorry, go ahead, Badger. I would say it's the definition of that meme of putting the spoke in your own tire and, ah, like they literally started all of this. Yeah. Uh, Is it's, this the piece we were talking about? Uh, yes. Okay. Kirsha, the one that was just on fucking... Yes, G&G &G or whatever, yeah. Bro. Yeah, not shocking. Not shocking. No, so, but... like I said, there's a lot of shit going on, man. I'm over here trying to read a book, and this mother these motherfuckers are just like crazy. She was funny. I'm not convinced that she's not fucking Gundam doing a girl voice. She sounds exactly like fucking, but <laughs> probably or girl incarnate. But like, no, she's super fucking cool. That's the type of like that's the type of unflappable chick you want to hang out with. That like says, "Put me in the kitchen," and fucking crazy ass fucking. I, I loved her. Yeah. Um, the ketchup bottle. Um, yeah, Bob 89 says the creative vault was cleared out, so I'm I'm almost positive Fuck. that was the goal. Like they knew, they went in there with the idea to to do that to to, to clear the creator vault. Um, and it could be it, it like I said, it could be to get back. Who really knows? Who really knows? I mean, they all seem mission. so close together. When you when you, when you factor in like the the Alyssa sub, like supposed firing, uh, then the doxing, then this like that's way too many things all one after another for it to be back to back coincidental. Man. Yeah. yeah, it starts to get questionable. You know, you start to wonder, like, hmm. But did they talk connected? at the same time? But did they talk at the same time? That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, Johnny Boy says he posted the link in the uh, the Hypno General channel. Let me see if I can open that up. One sec. Uh, uh, general channel. Let me see. Sweet Baby Ink detected. Oh, yeah, I got... You received Are you going to be able to open it since you were banned? Or should you, yeah, no, I, I can't. It says, it says you received an invite, but this user's banned from this guild. <laughs> so well, I'm, I was I'm never banned. in it. You don't have to try and hop in, see what it looks like? Yeah, yeah, hop in, hop in. I All can't right. get back in. Um, I was banned, apparently. Which, it's interesting. This, this person specifically targeted, I guess, certain creators because Cassie oh. got banned. I got banned. Um... From the list Invites are currently paused for this server. Please try again later. Oh, well, the mod probably, probably locked did that. everything. Yeah, they, said they, they probably locked, locked that shit down. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and that's about all there is of that. Uh, however, here's a little bit more information that's coming from Dread Roberts. So we've got hacked server C uh, CRRZN banned, banned Groot, Bull with Lucy's. Um, let's see, a banned uh, 49GB. Fill, fill in the blanks. Uh, Monsieur Hunter 
Morax, uh, How 1998, uh, Rod Bravo, so many individuals. Billy Slim, maybe these are individuals you know. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, we got Magic Man here, so this is the account hat server ban. You know, Sus, we defended him. He got undefeated. Admins can check audit logs, see if someone we don't have access. Never mind, it's Retro's alt. Oh, uh, was it Retro, uh, Retro alt? Because I plain banned him. So maybe they do have an idea of who it was. If this is, they, they're, they're speaking on it like they know who this might be. Um, this is what pops up. Get him out. So may I, I don't know. There's just so little information to go on right now. Um, yeah, Malkavian, Ban Reason, Kanta, Comprida, uh, Hakeda. All right, so it looks like maybe they're, it's this user who is being banned from being had because it's not in English. I'm not sure. But attention, everyone. I'm Cor uh, Corrosion, DEI detected worldwide PR. Our Discord server, Sweet Baby Ink detected, just got attacked from a hacker. Many people were banned uh, out of no reason at all. We are working on fixing the issue. We will get everything up and running as fast as possible, and we apologize for the issue. Now, the most important part of all this, and this is something that I hope that Cabrutus and all of them see, when you look through the comments, most of these pretty regular. You know, Dread Robbers is trying to reach out to those of us that cover this sort of thing on the daily. You know, Real Hanada, Neurotic, Real Flash, and Demion. You know, the, 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 the regular crew. Um... But then you get to more replies. But then there was hidden replies. We started right here. Now I've unhidden the replies. All you re need, really need to get your account back is contact support. Is they're totally useless. Uh, getting help from this I made um, message, which is annoying. Try to reach out to T Rex Text on Instagram. Now, T Rex Text came up once. But all the rest of these say fast.fixer01 on Instagram. Now, my. From from this account down, these were all hidden. I think there's a reason for these being hidden. I think that uh, uh, Twitter X intentionally hid these that mention this man. So we got uh, another one here that mentions Fast Fixer. We got another one that mentions Fast Fixer zero one. Uh, this one Fast Fixer zero one. So I, and then here's another with T Rex Tex. Another with uh, Fast Fixer zero one. So I got interested to figure out who this Fast uh, Fast Fixer zero one is. So I went to his Instagram. This is a uh, this is account. He's got seven thousand followers. He's only following two individuals. This is a um, positive hacker, basically. Uh, he is a hacker that you hire to get your hacked accounts back. Now, I don't know if I should be showing his account like this, but a lot of other people were putting his name on X, and he has a public-facing Instagram account, so I don't see why not to go ahead and show. But uh, yeah, if anybody knows about this account, it seems like he or his team or whatever it is specializes in Hacking in individuals to get hacked information back, restored, whatever it may be. There are lots of testimonials about discords being saved. Up here, he only notices PlayStation, Activision, PSN, PayPal, you know, the things like that. Gets them unbanned. Notice only when you need my services should you DM. So, does all of his uh, accounts via, so you have, you have to follow and inbox. You follow him, then you drop him a, uh, then you, you know, drop him the request. This could be a route you could go. I don't know anything about this, but uh, I'll get a lot of testimonials on X, and they were all hidden, which makes me think that uh, X is very aware of who this individual is. But I, I know this isn't a whole lot to go off of right now, but it is really all we've got. I think it's very important to cover. I think it's breaking news. Um, it's something that hopefully I'm not the only one to cover. I, I, if you see this video, if you don't see a lot of individuals talking about this, I don't normally say to share my video. That is, that's sort of implied, but definitely share this one. Get the word out there. Uh... Cabrutus has been doing great work. He did nothing wrong. He has done nothing wrong from the start, aside from maybe a little bit of naivete when he didn't realize what he was getting into. But who really would at this point? I mean, that, that, that was something that was completely innocuous that has been forever life-changing. So any sort of support that we can give him is going to be incredibly important. Um, that's really going to wrap it up for here. So you, of course, obviously would like you to, you know, subscribe to my channel, you know, do all that great stuff. Check me out. I do nerdy videos every day. Uh, but I'm not necessarily the priority right now. So just do all the regular stuff. Stuff. Check out the Instagram, Words of Paradise underscore Leon, become a member, but focus on, on, on Cabrutus and getting this taken care of for him. And until next time, it's all here in the Nerdosphere, and this has been Words of Paradise.